Welcome back, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, little cats and dogs, little boys and cats, old people, young people. Hey, it's Big Sammy. Hey, um, so we got some of our interior stuff done. Let, let me show you one. We're going to oh, oh. go back. Um, got the headliner in. Got our little sun visors in. New bolts, new screws. Uh, got a dome light in. Well, we had that in last time. If you guys are keeping an eye on what we're doing. Got all our black trim paint in, trim pieces in here. Got our little belt buckle holder cover thingies here. Got our B pillar, our C pillar, all our trim going to the front. Of course, we got to do our dashboard next. But um, I'm going to get a double, uh, another hand uh, to hook up the dash. Plus, I got some gauges to put in. Um, a, a couple little things there to kind of help you guys out with. Anyways, um, if you guys are just now watching this, for anybody, this is the can of paint that I'm using for the uh, satin black. It's a Sim, S-E-M, color coat, flat satin black. Um, we've painted everything from red, and we have some other pieces. See, we even got some little touch-up areas right there. You guys can see, see it's... See this blue coming through? Anyways, I hit it right here trying to do it by myself. So I got to hit that a little bit. You guys got to see the trim, the trim difference here. I didn't paint that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mask this off and I'm going to trim that out. I'm going to paint that, but my can is pretty much almost done. Um, I had a lot of pieces of the paint. I didn't realize how much paint I had to use. Um, so we got some new screws new bolts all stainless new hardware a few things i don't like i don't like how this worked out you can see this this thing is uh, just no no bueno um i'm gonna try to get some double-sided tape to hold that up kind of like that at least make it look nicer i got a little boo-boo up here but like i said when i put that in there I think it's going to be all right unless you turn around and get your head right up there you'll see it but uh yeah when you got a when you're doing it by yourself it's kind of tough to keep from tearing up your materials um i might even hit that just hit that with some black spray paint and probably hide it or get a magic marker and just dab it um but i'm gonna try to cover get it covered up like that so it doesn't see so double-sided tape or maybe a little small screw or something to go up in there um, same thing over there. You can see it's drooping down real bad. Um, not sure why that's doing that. Um, any of you interior guys that may be watching this, watching everything, if you know that, if you know why, um, how about let us know? Um, or anybody might know. It's putting our El Camino together. Let me know. Anyways, that's your color. That's your color. If you're doing a flat black, satin black, uh, it's got very little, uh, little, little little gloss to it um but there you go that's pretty much it if you guys are going to do this the headliner especially if you got an aftermarket or a new headliner that doesn't have the holes cut in here it's kind of a pain to do this by yourself because you got to drill a hole through your this is a fiberglass uh headliner um so what i had to do is i had to drill my holes through break the break the fiberglass out even to make that the dome light work in this light um so it was a little bit of you know taking down moving you know cutting the headliner make sure you don't cut it or rip it to where it looks looks crappy again um little little odd and in things like i said i painted this i already know that the silk belt buckle is maroon um i'll probably change that out later i'm going to paint this i got to get some new some of that uh interior paint i've got a new one of these um but i'm going to get one of those and uh, that's already black. I might paint that. Um, but I also want to show you guys real quick. Uh, I'm glad I don't have to do all this to that. But uh, it is, you know, it's a fun time. It's kind of what I do on the side when I don't have nothing else to, better to do. Or I got to relax myself. Um, there's all our interior parts. We painted some new stuff. There's our... Uh, seat buckles that were black uh, red they are now black mask this off to make it look nice and right there all black now uh, some other black pieces I see it was red on the back side so now they're all black um, got my armrest there painted black there's the lower doors right there that are black now 
they were black before but they were uh glossy black so i made all of it made all of it fit but anyways um this is kind of working with the interior of the el camino man um if you guys like want to subscribe hang out with us um we got our seats that are going to probably come in by next week because we took them to the upholstery shop um if you guys don't know there is man upholstery's gotten expensive um i'm going back with all original but it's going to be black and red stitching um but if you guys want to stay tuned and check it out as we're going we'll try to uh try to talk about you know what we see or what we run into that way if anybody's doing a g body or el camino or anything else uh definitely give me a give me a a ring uh leave a comment um email me whatever you want to do if you got any questions or anything else and see where we're, we're always working on something man uh anyways we appreciate y'all thanks for coming by and uh peace out and we'll talk to y'all later peace